Good morning friends welcome back to my channel coding environment hope you all are doing good in last video i tried to explain what is server virtualization also i tried to explain what are the different types of virtualization currently present in it industry i have given the link of the video in description so let's see what are the different types of virtualization currently present in it industry so the types of virtualization present in it industries are server virtualization followed by the desktop virtualization then we have something called storage virtualization and a network virtualization and then we have something called application virtualization in this video i am going to cover what is server virtualization and what is desktop virtualization so let's see what is server virtualization so let's see what is server virtualization now in traditional infrastructure when we used to install any operating system on any physical server what we has to do now suppose we have one physical server here and now i want to install any operating system such as windows operating system or any red hat or centos operating system or even a mac operating system what i have to do is to install this any one of this operating system directly on the server or the physical server now the limitation of this infrastructure is at a time there is only one operating system can run on this physical server now suppose i want to run this windows operating system on this physical server and then again i want to red hat or a mac or a centos operating system to run on the same physical server that was not possible so the traditional way was to buy three new servers here and then install one one operating system on all the three servers so you can see that to run four operating system i had to buy physical four servers and then install all the operating system on one one server so for a company in this case it has to buy three new physical servers which was a very costly business so how server virtualization helps in this situation so let's see in modern infrastructure or virtualized infrastructure how we can simplify this structure so in the virtualization infrastructure what we used to have is one physical server this is same physical server which we had in the traditional infrastructure also now in this case if i want to run all this operating system on this physical server at the same time if i follow the previous infrastructure i cannot do but with the server virtualization we can do this so how we can do this so how we can achieve this particular scenario where i want to run all this operating system on this physical server so to do this what we can do is we can install one type 1 hypervisor this hypervisor is provided by mostly all the companies who is working on this virtualization technology you can take any big name like microsoft oracle or vmware from the microsoft we have something called hyper v from the vmware we we have something called esxi this is a type 1 hypervisor which directly runs on the physical server the job of this type 1 hypervisor is to simulate this physical server for all the operating systems running on this hypervisor so now if i have to install the centos or mac or any windows or red hat operating system what we can do is we can run all these operating systems like windows red hat centos or mac directly on this hypervisor so all this particular operating systems will run as a virtual machine on this type 1 hypervisor so you can see if a business or if a company wants to run all the operating system on the same physical server it can do with the help of this type 1 hypervisor which is a physical server simulator or we can say that with the help of this type 1 hypervisor we are virtualizing this physical server for all this operating system so this is the main benefit for the company where he don't have to buy all the three physical servers to run the three different operating system on all the servers so he can buy only one server then he can install this type 1 hypervisor on the server and then he can install this virtual machines on this server so this is called the server virtualization we are basically virtualizing this physical server so that different virtual machine can run on this particular hypervisor at the same time so this is all about server virtualization the desktop virtualization it's same as the server virtualization in the desktop virtualization what we used to do is to virtualize this particular operating system which will run on this type 1 hypervisor 
So if you are working in a very big company, what we used to do previously that we used to run our codes on the physical laptop. On the laptop, we used to have our own operating system installed and all our code used to be there. But if you see in the today's modern world, what company used to do is they run your operating system on one of the hypervised uh, infrastructure. Now, VDA is just a example of your desktop virtualization where all your operating system is running as a virtual machine on one of this type 1 hypervisor. So this is all about your desktop and the server virtualization. Hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel and stay connected. For time being, have a great day and goodbye.